In this video, we are going to use another example to show how to use Cauchy's residual theorem to compute integral z modulus equals 3 e to the power of minus z over z minus 1 squared dz. So likewise, first let's review what the Cauchy's residual theorem is. If there is the complex number b sub 1, which is the coefficient of 1 over z minus z naught in the expansion form, then we can say the complex number b sub 1 is the residual of the function f at the isolated singular point z naught. And we can also use this residual to obtain the value of the integral f z dz, which is 2 pi i times the residual. In our question, we know the isolated singular point is z0 equals 1. And we know this point is within the range. z modulus equals 3. We know that it's a circle with the center at the origin. So that point is within the range. All right. In our question, we know we have the z minus 1 in the denominator part. And we know 1 over 1 minus z can be expanded into the expansion form. So first, let's do something with the equation. So we have fz equals e to the power of minus z over z minus 1 squared. And let's make a little change into minus e to the power of minus z over z minus 1 times 1 over 1 minus z. So we can use the expansion form, which becomes minus e to the power of minus z over z minus 1 times sum n starts from 0 to infinite z to the power of n. In order to get the coefficient of the term 1 over z minus z naught, and in this case, which is 1 over z minus 1, we know we should make n equals 0 because in this case we have 1 over z minus 1 in the fz function, right? So in this case, the corresponding residual is when z naught equals 1 at the isolated singular point and the residual is minus e to the power of minus 1 times 1 to the power of 0 and therefore the residual is minus 1 over e. So referring to the Cauchy's residual theorem, we have found the residual, which is the coefficient of that 1 over z minus z naught form in the expansion equation. And we know that singular point is within the given range. So the next step is that we need to just substitute. So the equation integral e to the power of minus z over z minus 1 squared dz equals 2 pi i times the residual, which is minus 1 over e. So the final answer using Cauchy's residual theorem is minus 2 pi i over e.